An Anderson family is now dealing with the loss of a father hit and killed by a semi while working on the highway in northern Hamilton County. Rich and I talked with the family and returned to the scene of the accident. Co-workers erected this memorial for Justin Nance just a day after he was struck and killed by a semi on US 31 North just north of 286th Street. Justin Nance was 32 years old, a divorced father of three. He recently received a promotion to foreman of the e &B paving crew that was working on US 31 North Wednesday afternoon. Nance was struck by a semi-truck that for some reason did not move over to the left lane and hit the aero board, which pushed that trailer and truck into Nance and into a tar kettle trailer and truck. Nance died at the scene, leaving his family in Anderson with many questions. The why is my biggest. I mean, I just don't understand how you don't see a bright sign with a flashing arrow telling you to get over. But I drove that stretch today, and I nobody gets over. The semi belongs to KNS Pallets out of Fort Wayne. The company did not return my phone call today. The driver underwent a drug and alcohol test as part of the investigation. Crash investigators have not said if speed or distractions were a factor. Slow down, get over, pay attention. It could be your brother, your cousin, your uncle, your dad. I mean, I got a niece and two nephews that are now without their dad because of one careless act. Nance served in the Marine Corps and went to work for ENB Paving after his military service. He liked to pick on all of us a lot, even though he wasn't the oldest. <laughs> it was more of a He'd walk up behind you and pinch the back of your arm just to get a rise out of you. I'm going to kind of miss it, even though that makes my arm hurt. <laughs> E&B Paving would offer no comment on the death of Justin Nance. Another worker for this company was killed in a construction zone on Interstate 65 near Hobart about two years ago. In Anderson, I'm Rich Nye, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.